Going straight. down. Today we're uh, just wrapping up our week of training. So we're simulating a contaminated water dive. So we service the city of Regina. Our divers uh, not only work hand in hand with our water rescue team, but in the unfortunate event there was a drowning in the city or surrounding, uh, we would be the team that would, would have to go recover the body. Everyone got certified uh, and ready to go in spring. So this is our first full season being ready to go. In addition to uh, your, your typical scuba certifications, uh, all our divers have to become rescue divers. And from rescue diver, then we take our public safety diver course. He wants to get you out a little bit here. Keep going. Yeah, if you noticed our yellow cord uh, attached to our divers, that's our communications uh, line. So it not only tethers our divers to shore, uh, but we're also able to communicate uh, between the divers that are in the water and our shore tenders and our, and our uh, comms personnel. So some of the things they might encounter would, could be uh, body recovery, so there's biological hazard there. Uh, if we ever had to enter, say, a sewage lagoon or something like that, we could also be recovering possibly evidence for the police or if any vehicle or anything like that entered the water that we could go recover that as well.